Nesan Luen is co-founder of the Free Rohingya Coalition. It's a global network of Rohingya activists. He joins us from Frankfurt. Nesan Luen, thank you so much for your time. Shall we start with the situation in Bangladesh for the Rohingya in the refugee camps? How difficult a situation is it and how much uh, the Bangladeshi government making it more difficult for them. There was an idea that they would be moved away from Cox's Bazaar to uh, a place that they would be more vulnerable, certainly to the environmental conditions. Bangladesh suffers many, many floods all the time. Well, thank you so much for having me here today. Uh, the situation in Bangladesh is, has been five years now. We are going to commemorate fifth anniversary of the Rohingya genocide remember day, remembrance day in a few days. They are not recognized as the refugee. They have no refugee rights, especially lack of the education. There are ten of thousands of half of them are the children. They have no formal education at all. We are very much worried about it. And also that the situation in the camp is very dire and the, it is overcrowded. Of course, yes, you know, that the Bangladesh government uh, has been planning to move away this uh, uh, about 100,000. Later, they will, they, will, uh, they, they, they will take more to the Ramuz Island uh, bus center. As of now, almost 20,000 uh, uh, have been uh, already relocated. They will re uh, relocate more. While they are doing so, they are also talking about the repatriation. The, uh, as uh, you, you just show in your uh, uh, short documentary, the people are willing to go, but the, the, the situation in, in, in Myanmar is unstable. Uh, meanwhile, in the camp, they are really suffering. This is like uh, one refugee uh, uh, described the situation to the human rights chief in the private meeting, like they are living in the camp like the prisoner. They have no right to move from one camp to another. The same situation. Uh, we face in uh, back in Myanmar, uh, we had no right to move from uh, one, one village to another. This is the same thing happening. The remaining 600,000 in Myanmar also are in the uh, same situation, the same situation in the Bangladesh camp. This is the basic human right. They should at least have the right to move from one, one camp to another. There are a lot of things, you know, even the private school, uh, the, those, uh, the Rohingya youth are volunteering, and they are trying to uh, teach their own children, those who are shut down. So that there is no right at all, as I described, the, 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 as I mentioned, the, as they, are, uh, they were not recognized as the refugees, they have no refugee right at all. The observation about their treatment at the hands of the Bangladeshi government is by no means meant to be a criticism of uh, the decisions being made in Dhaka. I mean, it's been a long time that Bangladesh has said, look, we want to help you, but we're a resource poor country. We can't actually take care of you the way you deserve to be taken care of. But the problem is, of course, that any repatriation, as you've just described, is impossible right now. Even if they were to go back, if the military junta were to promise not to continue the persecution, many of their homes have been destroyed or there are other people living on their lands. Their homes don't exist anymore. Well, you know, we always thank you, uh, thanks the Bangladesh uh, government and the Bangladeshi people uh, for sheltering us, giving us the space. At least, you know, uh, we could survive if they, uh, we were not allowed to get into the Bangladesh. You know, we all would be killed by the, this uh, military, uh, Myanmar military. But uh, uh, on the other hand, the international community also, they should focus this, uh, 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 this refugee. Uh, they are almost now forgotten by the international community. Their focus is on Ukraine and the other, you know. So uh, there is also underfunding uh, the project. Uh, they need about the $1 billion every year. So um, there are a lot of shortage. Uh, so what I want to say to the international community, until they go back to their homeland, you know, the, the, all the uh, superpower country and the resourceful country, they should support to the Bangladesh. Bangladesh, of course, you know, they are surviving themselves. It is the, a, a poor country. Uh, we cannot blame any uh, anything to the uh, Bangladesh, only the restriction, uh, how they are keeping this refugee. Of course, you know, that is accordance with the, uh, the, 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 the Bangladesh rule and regulation. So in, in Myanmar, uh, as you mentioned, you know, most of the home, uh, almost 400 villages were destroyed. 
if the rep uh, repatriation happened, there should be the guarantee that uh, the, the, the Ratani uh, will be given the citizenship right, ethnic right. This ethnic right is very much important in Myanmar. You know, if you are not recognized as a, an ethnic group, you are like a foreigner. So this is very much important. Yeah. And also the freedom of movement, right to return to their original villages. Uh, you, uh, all other, you know, the basic human rights, like access to education, has access to healthcare. Because the, 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 the people who are now uh, uh, remain in the, uh, this uh, 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 majority of the Rohingya area in Northern Rakhine State, they have no access to anything. They are just like living in the open air prison. So this all has to be changed. And also, the, the Myanmar military region uh, have to uh, guarantee that you know this uh, the, the, the cycle of the uh, violence will not repeat again. Because since the 1978, it is repeating again and again. Yeah, Nay San Luen, thank you very much indeed for your time.